I would say slow down on trying to change your situation or trying to let somebody know exactly how you feel because God's going to take care of it. He, he got it. Today's topic was seeing and why it seems fun. So in my experience, something that I experienced and I knew maybe this was not the route that I wanted to go. So um, I don't indulge in anything sinful anymore. It's like a light just cut on and I'm just like, it could be movies. It could be anything that is something that is not something I seek or it's going to make me better. So sin is something I no longer desire as I grow in my knowledge. It's not something that I want to watch on TV, watch on my phone, just anything with a negative connotation or a negative atmosphere. I don't want to be a part of my life as I grow in the gospel. As I learn God's wisdom, I don't want anything to do with anything sinful. So it's kind of it would kind of be like, why did you just stop everything past relationships, past friendships that, you know, I didn't need to continue? I left alone. So. As you grow in your knowledge, you are alone. Like when God is teaching you and when God is showing you like this is the way to go, there is people that will stray away from you in your life that you just, you wish them the best. You love them from a distance, but you know they do not help you as you continue to grow in your in your path to righteousness. So there, I would tell you guys that if you feel alone in your path and your in your spiritual journey that you don't have a lot of people around you that's because you actually don't need them to be around you because they're not on the same level as you are so not in the level as I'm superior or inferior it's the level of knowledge that you are gaining and the sins that you drop off you just drop them off any sexual talk that people are talking about relationships uh tv shows like I was watching a TV show the other day and it just didn't have anything that I wanted to see. So I cut it off. And in the past, me would have just left it on and just continued to watch it, even though it's not something I agree with or it is trauma. And so sometimes you can indulge in your own trauma by watching something you're not really supposed to watch because it's triggering something in you to make you want to revert back to the old you. Guys, as you as you grow in the gospel, as you learn what God is talking about in the Bible, as you see everything that he has done, you do not want to go back to the way you used to be. There's a barrier there. And then I seen this quote the other day, and I'm going to read it to you guys. In a world characterized by working and taking to rest and receive seems too easy. So just to kind of talk about and give you guys a brief update on how I feel, you know, after losing my job was... In this moment, to refresh the time frame that I've had, you know, looking for my job and figuring out my new job and figuring out what I actually want to do, the get up and go is something that's in doctrine in us. You feel like you're not being productive if you're not going to work. Like I just, like I said in previous videos, there is multiple things to do, you know what I mean, at home that is beneficial to not only your health, but actually your mental health. But I think we all move around and like that comment that I just read in a world characterized by working and taking that you feel like when you are at the point of which you feel like is beneficial or productive, um, the knowledge that I'm gaining in talking to God and, you know, the righteous judgment that I have that I'm able to see, you know what I mean? We and me, myself, felt like I wasn't doing enough, even though I was gaining my knowledge. I was starting my podcast. It seemed like something was missing when really in that statement. And in that statement, it actually means that what I'm doing for God and talking about God and speaking his word is productive. Just because I'm not punching somebody's clock yet does not mean that I'm not being productive or that my life doesn't seem secure or meaning I'm not living a meaningless life losing my job and just an update um I just will be honest with you guys 
I actually see the person that was a part of me not having my career anymore often when I go to the gym. And it's very frustrating to me because I actually had to ask God because I'm so angry about it. God, help me with these emotions when I see these people who had a hand in the negativity, who, you know, caused chaos in my life that was not needed. So in my anger, you know, as I was at the gym, I wasn't like pumping iron, you know, angry. I was settling in to there's things that you cannot control that you have to deal with. You can't always be emotional about a thing. So like I said, my emotion that I felt was anger. And I remember, you know, telling my mom, like, mama, I keep seeing this lady at the gym and it's bothering me because when I go to the gym, everybody wants to go to the gym and relax. You don't go to the gym and see an old ex. You don't go to the gym and see somebody that you um, were, are fighting with. You don't go, you know, and see people that you just – you know, don't want to see at the place of you trying to get your life, your health and your mental together. So, you know, one thing, you know, I asked God, God, should I go somewhere else? And he was like, no, you stand tall, you stand firm and you let them, you stand tall, you stand firm and you let them know that you are okay because I got you. Her situation is a lot different than when I left that job. She's not even in her role anymore. So just to put it in perspective, like everything is happening the way it's supposed to happen. And when you do people wrong, you will actually see it. It wasn't put in my face, but it was actually told to me. And I actually see it on her face that, hey, you know, <laughs> she looks, she, I, I don't know how to explain it, guys. But just seeing somebody that you know that you did wrong and that you know that these people lied, you know, on you. You know, I think she wished she could take it back. I think she wished she could stand up for me the way she was supposed to. Because when I see her, it's like seeing a ghost. Like, the way I say God take care of me, and I'm still kind of scared about what the future holds and what my next position is and what my next job is. But the way God had had his hand on me to where I wasn't affected as much as I thought I was. Um... Guys, the situation that I was in, being the caretaker in my family, I definitely, everything could have fell apart. If I didn't have God, like, who knows where I would be. So just bringing it back, seeing the person that actually had a hand in my termination, in my career, my unjust, wrongful termination, um, can you imagine what that's like to see that person daily? I know people get terminated from jobs every day, but you don't see those people continuously. So just to see that as I'm trying to, you know, progress my physical health, um, to get and gain physical, to get physically fit, you know, and to see the person that it just made me angry. But I remember praying. <sighs> God, will you please help me with these emotions? Because this lady, you know, I'm angry. Like, I don't know if I was to, you know, lash out and say something. But I do want to tell you guys, being the bigger person doesn't always pay. So with that being said is to, I'm going to show that I'm okay. I'm going to, I'm not going to laugh in her face because whatever happened, happened. But again, being the bigger person, I'd say is hard so there's statements that I want to say there's all kind of things that I'm just like you know see you, when you do people wrong wrong comes back to you and it's not that I have to say it she physically is feeling what happened and throughout my life there has been multiple people who have done me wrong and I haven't went back and necessarily checked on them but it has always been something that kind of I don't know if it wakes them up or it gives them a wake-up call but I just want to tell you that everything is going to be okay. And being the bigger person doesn't always pay for like how you feel and expressing your emotion. But I do want to tell you that when God said vengeance is his, it's his. I would say slow down on trying to change your situation or trying to let somebody know exactly how you feel because God's going to take care of it. He, he got it. 
So just seeing this lady and still going to the gym and doing what I'm supposed to do as far as, you know, still taking care of me and still showing that I'm okay. I'm not going to go hide from anything. I'm going to stand 10 toes down, face it, everything that I have to face, you know, going to the gym and seeing her. And guys, when we talk about sin, which is the topic of this podcast, I stopped everything cold turkey, like uh, friends that I had been with, uh, men that, you know, were, you know, no good for me. Like my phone don't even ring anymore. And, and that's okay with me. Like I, to be honest with you, I don't even need a phone only to pay, uh, bills and talk to family. Like there is no reason for me, you know, to really have a phone because nobody is on the level that I am. And when you are, when you are not sinning or listen to the same music or you just change your circle. And like I would say, sin is not fun or anything that I want to indulge in. And when you say sin, that's seeing pictures on your phone, scrolling down your news feed, seeing things that are not productive or that you shouldn't see. Because it's not the path that you're on. So when I say that there's different levels, a lot of people can't stop everything cold turkey, but I did. (laughs) Renew me, renew my spirit. I don't need this anymore. So just cut everything out. I don't curse. Um, I don't watch sexual movies. I don't, all of that I stopped. And guys, it takes 30 days to stop a habit. So try it, stop the habit. I don't do indulge in anything besides food, water, and the content that I consume to grow my channel and to gain knowledge um, of specific things that I want to learn. You know, once you once you are growing and learning and listening to God, what you think that you need, you don't need. What you think that you want are no longer your wants because I just, you know, got up the other day and was like, I still have a roof over my head and a car to drive. And it almost brought me to tears. Just because I don't have that job anymore doesn't mean I'm not me. I'm still me. And nothing can change that. Nothing can take that away. And God's I'm holding on to his right hand because it's the best thing to do. Um, I know a lot of people are on different journeys or whatever, but you have to have something to believe in because if it is what they say in revelations and you haven't caught on to taking him as your Lord and savior, taking him into your heart, I don't know what to tell you. And the update on me and how I feel, you know, at this moment, you know, still looking for uh, employment is the thing that upsets me most is because I was a teacher and, and I was like a, I was like a teacher and a protector. I protected the people from people that didn't believe in them, people that, you know, said crazy things about them. Like I always stood up for people. So that's what I miss most, standing up for people and showing them that you have the power within yourself to be anything you want to be. Do not let anything stop you. Do not let this triumph, this situation, this amount of projects that you have to do. Don't let that stop you. Figure out a way to get it done. Let's breathe through it because you are capable. So that's what kind of makes me angry the most. And I hope my next gig that I get, I teach and train and actually show people that and empower people. So that was my thing. And I think that's what God instilled in me is empowerment. I still have people messaging me today about their new job asking, you know, I got a test coming up, you know, um, and I'm like, you got this. Believe in yourself. So just to see people still messaging me, it's amazing. And also the people who believe the nonsense, like, I just want to say that if you keep speaking on me, like, it's not going to be good. You don't know me as a person. And I'd appreciate if nobody would speak about that incident, because if you knew me as a person, you know, those things that were said about me, I didn't say and would never say. 
And if you don't want to stick up for me and you didn't know me. So, you know, believe what you want to believe. And as much as it upsets you, <laughs> get over it. God has me and I'm going to be okay because everything that I learned working over the years was things that I instilled in myself, the empowerment that I put in myself, the knowledge that I gained from reading and obtaining and doing. All of that is things that I gained in my in my 10 years in my career. So nobody can take that from me, not even negative comments, not even just the negativity that people are seeing surrounding my name. I just so. want to tell you that you're talking to yourself because I don't hear you. And just, and another update, I just feel like I was robbed. Because like I said, it's not even the money that I made in the career. It was the job that I was doing and what I like to do. Like I said, just being there for people and people being there for me and the environment that I upheld and the leadership that I display, nobody again can take that from me. And closing out guys, God's vision, God's vision is greater than mine. So, you know, just thinking about the future and you know, what my next career is gonna be or what my life is gonna be like. God says, take it one day at a time, one day. Guys, do not think about too far in the future and don't think about the past step forward move forward read your bible and there's so many stories in the bible like i would tell you guys but walk forward towards the future set your goals and ask god to help you fulfill them do not forget about god along the way please don't because God will, he has a funny way of showing you that he's the most important person in your life. No material, no person is greater than he. And you don't want him to show his mighty hand because he will. And I think, you know, in my situation, it was an adjustment and a wake up call. Being surrounded by people that were fake and phony. Probably, you know, experiencing witchcraft. Who knows? But I know that I'm not in that environment anymore. And it's... It's not the job, it's what I did in the job. And I know that right now my life has fulfillment in what I'm doing right now, in my career search and doing what I'm doing on YouTube is enough fulfillment for what I have going on right now that nobody's opinion of me, again, matters. It doesn't matter. The comments, the negative comments that I get on my uh, content you still seen it, you still watched it, and you still commented. But I do want to tell you guys that God's vision is greater than mine. And he is greater than he. He's greater than I. But I do have an abundance of his spirit. So thank you for tuning in to my podcast. Today's podcast was wise and fun. And when you're growing the gospel and you're learning God's God's voice and you listening to his commandments and his way of life and how to live your life and be free from wickedness you'll slowly put down those things that you are sinning or you're abundantly doing that is not righteous so it's the level that I'm on I stopped everything cold turkey <laughs> everything I'm a free agent to all sin it is anything I see kick it out kick it out the gossip, the talking about people, <laughs> the friends that call you gossiping. Nope. Not something I want to, that's not something I want to be a part of. Sin, why is it fun? It's fun when you don't know the right way. It's fun when you're out looking for love in all the wrong places. It's fun when you need instant gratification even though you know that that's not the right thing to do or is going to give you any satisfaction down the line. So today's podcast is about sin, how I left it alone, what my opinion of it is, and the knowledge that I'm gaining, learning the gospel. And then it's also an update on my career search and still how I feel about 
and still how I feel about the job that was taken from me and actually stolen from me by lies because when you're a good person bad things will happen to you you just have to know how to react and how not to react like I said being the bigger person doesn't always pay but when God said vengeance is his make sure you remember that and listen to that all right y'all thank you for listening to my podcast I'll see you in the next one peace